including stools, and a human being who has developed such indiscriminate taste must be prepared for a degraded life in the next life. Such a life is also God's grace, because the conditioned soul desired a body like that for perfectly tasting a particular type of foodstuff. If a man gets the body of a swine, it must be considered the grace of the Lord, because the Lord awards the facility. After death, the next body is offered by superior control, not by blindly. A human being, therefore, must be on his guard as to what sort of body he is going to have in the next life. An irresponsible life of indiscrimination is risky, and that is the declaration of all scriptures. 每一个感官都有控制它的神灵而每一个神灵都监督着它所控制的感官的逐渐发展因此要明白感官活动受至尊主而受至尊主以的控制可以说至尊主给受制约的灵魂提供感官并授权负责控制感官的神灵加以管理
主其中的名字，一个名字是 Rishi Isha， Rishi 意味着感官， Isha 意味着控制，感官的主人，所以至尊主也叫感官的主人。萨古帕迪比涅姆康塔帕尔特纳涅姆拉， Rishi Isha， Rishi Kena Sevanam， Bhaktir Uchate。Devotional service is described that we meant we meant to use our senses in the service of the Supreme Lord. 呃，奉爱服务意味着在对主的服务中，我们应该去利用自己的感官。And when we don't use the senses in the service of the Lord, then we use them for our own sense gratification. 呃，当感官没有利用在对主的对主的服务当中，我们就会把它用在自己的感官享乐之中。And when we do that, we get punished for that. 呃，当这样做的时候，我们便会受到惩罚。And the punishment is often that we're put into the lower species of life. 通常这种惩罚是让我们去到更低等的生物体中。And so the problem by talks in the purport about how people. May have the desire to taste too. Uh, Papad in the Yajur Jung talks about some people may have the desire to taste too. We see people eat all kinds of terrible foodstuffs. Uh, we can see some people who are not able to taste anything. Not just only meat and fish and eggs, but they will eat all kinds of terrible foods. Uh, they will eat all kinds of terrible foods. Uh, they will eat all kinds of terrible foods. Uh, they will eat all kinds of terrible foods. Uh, they will eat all kinds of terrible foods. Uh, they will eat all kinds of terrible foods. Uh, they will eat all kinds of terrible foods. Uh, they will eat all kinds of terrible foods. Uh, they will eat all kinds of terrible foods. Uh, they will eat all kinds of terrible foods. Uh, they will eat all kinds of terrible foods. Uh, they will eat all kinds of terrible foods. Uh, they And so, when we use the tongue to eat without any discrimination, then we are given a body to suit that. So, when we use the tongue to eat without any discrimination, then we are given a body to suit that. So, when we use the tongue to eat without any discrimination, then we are given a body to suit that. So, when we use the tongue to eat without any discrimination, then we are given a body to suit that. So, when we use the tongue to eat without any discrimination, then we are given a body to suit that. So, when we use the tongue to eat without any discrimination, then we are given a body to suit that. So, when we use the tongue to eat without any discrimination, then we are given a body to suit that. So, when we use the tongue to eat without any discrimination, then we are given a body to suit that. So, when we use the tongue to eat without any discrimination, then we are given a body to suit that. So, when we use the tongue to eat without any Vegetarian meant to eat leaves and grains and vegetables and fruits. Uh, we give a specific activity to allow us to eat fruits, eat fruits, eat fruits, eat fruits. The whole design of the material body of the human body is in such a way it's meant to be vegetarian. Human body's design is so that we can become vegetarians. But people who don't who don't follow the vegetarian system of life, but people who don't who don't follow the vegetarian style, then they More that they're prone to be next life to take an animal body. Uh, 但是如果不遵循素食的人，他们下一世更有可能会呃得到一个动物的躯体。Of course, people say, "Oh, that's all mythology. We don't believe in that that, that you can take birth like that." 呃，有的人会说啊，这听起来就是神话故事。我不相信有这样一个。They think there's only one life, and at the time of death, everything is finished. They think that life is only one life, and at the time of death, everything is finished. But we have information from the scriptures that we are all spiritual beings, and the body is just simply a vehicle, a temporary vehicle. But the scripture tells us that we are spirit beings, and the body is just a vehicle, a temporary vehicle. And we will give up this one body, we will take another body according to our karma, according to our qualification. And sometimes we go up to higher levels of life, and sometimes we go down. Oh, and, and it's described how even power, big demigods who were situated in the heavenly planets, how they became degraded into lower species of life. Uh, we know from Damodar Lila that there were two sons of Kuvera who were drinking, intoxicated, and going naked. In a holy place. Uh, we from this Damodar's story, we heard that the two sons of Kuvera, they were because they were drinking or having sex, they were drinking and they were naked. And they were naked. And they were naked. And they were naked. So Narada Muni gave them mercy, and he put them into the body of trees. Uh, Narada, Shengri, Narada gave them mercy, and he put them into the body of trees. Uh, Narada, Shengri, Narada gave them mercy, and he put them into the body of trees. Because trees stand naked, they will stand. 
Just like if you dig a hole, put your feet in the ground and stand there, then you just stand, you don't move. So trees, they have that kind of body. It's a type of punishment for sinful activities. And so the two sons of Kuvera were put into the body of trees and they had to stand as trees for a long time. And it wasn't until Lord Krishna came there in the form of Damodar and he not all pulled over the two trees with the mortar and then the two demigods came out from the tree. And then there is also the incident of Indra. Indra was the king of heaven, but he was very he was very inclined to sense gratification. So his guru cursed him to become a pig. And Indra had to take the body of a pig, and he was living in the pig house with all the pigs. And after some time, the guru came and told him, he said, okay, you've been a pig long enough, now you can come back. But Indra said, Oh no, I'm happy here. <laughs> and I said, I have my family here. I have big wives, many wives, and I have many children here. And every day I'm getting big buckets of food. The farmers bringing me big buckets every day. And Indra said, I'm, I'm okay here. I don't want to go anywhere. So this is the nature of human. This is the nature of life. That whatever situation we're in. We're thinking, oh, it's, it's not so bad here, I'm all right here. We're thinking, oh, no, it's okay, you know, the sun is shining, the trees are there, there's flowers, there's fruits. We don't see that the material body is aging and one day you're going to have to give up the body. We have to give up the body and we have to take another body. So we're advised here to be very cautious about our activities in this life. Because the activities and the consciousness which we cultivate in this life will determine our next birth. Srila Prabhupada often talked about how people have uh, their cars and they're fond of their four wheels. They go everywhere on their four wheel cars. But he said four wheels, he said the dog is on four legs and you're on four wheels. But the activities are the same. The dog is in thinking, where is food, where is sleep, where is sex? And the man is also thinking the same thing, driving his car. Uh, 然而人和这些人和狗的活动是一样的, 这个狗在想, 
啊，我应该吃什么？我在哪里睡觉？怎么样能够找一个呃异性来交配？ And so the, the the consciousness is not different. Although you have the human body, if we don't use it properly, then in the future we will be degraded into lower species of life. So these people, they have the body, but it's not the same. So if we don't use it properly, then in the future we will be degraded into lower species of life. So these people, they have the body, but it's not the same. It was said there was one man. He was a very prominent politician in a very powerful country. He was the leader of a nation. But but after he died, the astrologers predicted his next birth. 有一个人，他在一个非常强大的国家，是这个国家伟大的政治领袖。呃，但是在他去世的时候，一个占星师预测了他的下一世。And they predicted that this man, previously he was so prominent, he was worshipped and honored by so many people. Next slide, he became a dog in Sweden. Uh, this Zhen Xin Shi says, even though this person is here, he is a very prominent figure, but in the next life, he will become a dog. 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 It's the destination of people who don't use the human body properly. Uh, so if if people don't properly use the human body, this is their destiny. They don't have any belief in any future. They don't believe in any kind of practice of religion. They just simply think life is for sense gratification. Uh, these people they don't believe in any kind of practice of religion. They just simply think life is for sense gratification. So there are many examples of people who experience the next birth. Ah, 有很多例子证明了人们是有来世的。Just like Bharat Maharaj. Bharat Maharaj was a a great king, but he retired from the throne. He gave up his kingdom and went to the Himalayas to do austerities. 就像巴勒马哈拉什，他是一个伟大的君主啊，但是他放弃了自己的国家，然后去到喜马拉雅山过起隐居的生活。But in the course of doing his austerities, he became attached to a deer. 呃，但是在他苦行的期间，他依附上了一条小鹿。He saved the life of a little deer, and he became very affectionate to the deer, and it, it disturbed all his meditation. And Bharat Maharaj had the misfortune to fall from a cliff, and when he fell from the cliff, his mind was simply thinking of the deer. Ah, 然后巴勒马哈拉什不幸的从这个悬崖上摔了下来。呃，在他堕呃堕崖的时候，摔到悬崖下面的时候，他心里想的是小鹿。And next life he had to take birth as a deer. 呃，下一世他就要接受一个小鹿的躯体。And he had to. He 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 was, however, because he was an advanced devotee, he was blessed with memory of his past life. 但因为他是一个高级的奉献者，所以他呃有自己前一世的记忆。Usually, people forget the past life. We don't remember our past lives. 通常人们不记得自己前世做过什么。But sometimes it happens that in the course of Changing the body, Lord Krishna arranges that the person will remember the previous life. Uh, 但是有的时候在更换躯体的时候，主人希望会做出呃这样子的安排，让这个人能够记住自己的前世。So Bharat Maharaj got the memory, although he was in the body of a deer, he remembered what had happened to him. 所以巴勒马哈拉什具有这样子的记忆，尽管他在一个鹿的躯体里面，他记得自己的前世。And he regretted that he had to waste time. He had to take birth as a deer and live in the deer body for some time until he again came back to a human form of life. So he was very regretful of his time wasted. He had to live in the deer body for some time until he again came back to a human form of life. So he was very regretful of his time wasted. He had to live in the deer body for some time until he again came back to a human form of life. So he was very regretful of his time wasted. He had to live in the deer body for some time until he again came back to a human form of life. So he was very regretful of his time wasted. He had to live in the deer body for some time until he again came back to a human form of life. So in his next birth, Bharat Maharaj became Jat Bharat. He became the son of a Brahmana. So in his next birth, Bharat Maharaj became Jat Bharat. 
No, the word Jad, Jad Bharat means he was, he was a stupid person, he was a, like a foolish person. But he behaved in that way just so that his father would not be too much attached to him. He knew the danger of family life. That you get very attached to the children. So, but Jatbarat, Jatbarat was always doing the the things the wrong way. He would do stupid things, and the father just understood. Oh, the son is stupid. I cannot do anything with him. He's useless. <laughs> so he do everything the wrong way. Father Thurman is very stupid, but he's hopeless. I can't do anything with him. And this way, Jack Barat was able to leave home and he was able to wander and achieve perfection. So there's many examples of people who had near death experiences. Sometimes people are in critical condition during an operation, maybe they're undergoing surgery and they're almost at the point of leaving the body. And they have experience of their spiritual and body leaving the material body. There are people who have, uh, who have memories from uh, traumatic situations. Maybe they were in some serious accident. And they were almost dead. And so they have visions of how they were out of the body and they could see the material body. So there are many people who have memories from their past life, sometimes young children, they can remember their previous lives. There's one very famous professor from the USA who made a lot of studies, he's written a lot of books, he's compiled a lot of evidence, people who had memories from their past lives. And so it's, it's not just simply mythology, it's not just simply foolish belief, but it's actually science. And we have to understand the, how to make proper use of the human life. If we waste it just simply in sense gratification, then it's a great risk because you have to enter into the lower species. If in the next life we have to become a dog or a pig, it is not a very great credit. We want to use this human life to get free from birth and death. And we can do that easily by practicing Krishna consciousness. That is proper use of the senses. We use the senses in the service of the master of the senses. 
Any questions? Uh, um, question, for every sense of order, we have like a deity controlling them? Uh, for example, process of how the speech is produced, who initiated the speech, and how the, the whole process, how it happens. If the soul is speaking, if the condition of the soul is speaking, how could they initiate the speech? If the condition of the soul is speaking, how could they initiate the speech? If the sleeping condition of the soul, the well, ultimately, everything is under the control of the Supreme Lord. When Bhagavad Gita or Krishna said, this material nature is moving under my direction, O son of Kunti. So the living entity is given some independence. We are given that choice to either we accept Krishna or Maya. Either we take the shelter of the spiritual energy or the material energy. When we come under the control of the material energy, then we are under the control of the three modes of nature. So according to how we associate with the modes of nature, goodness, passion and ignorance, we will act and we will speak in certain ways. Some people in the mode of ignorance, they will speak with language which is very unpleasant, nasty, insulting. People use a lot of bad language, you know, it's influenced by the mode of ignorance. People in the mode of passion, they will speak in a different way. They will speak with a lot of ambition, a lot of desire to control. And people in the mode of ignorance and mode of goodness will recite scriptures and they will uh, they will offer prayers and speak words which is pleasing and truthful. So everything is influenced by the modes of nature. <laughs> I discovered a problem. So when I was chanting in the morning, I was sleepy. When I was listening to class, I was sleepy. But when I was watching the phone, I wasn't sleepy. That is your conditioning. Because you're conditioned to think that your mobile phone is so important and so valuable. And you're not thinking how important is the chanting of the Holy Name. So our attention, our concentration is not properly focused. We're too much attached to the material communication.
We need to be attached to spiritual communication. Chanting the holy name, calling out the holy names of Krishna, that is spiritual communication. And that is more important than any uh, message you get on your mobile phone. And so it, it's conditioning. We're conditioned to these things. Mm-hmm. We're conditioned. If it, you know, it's a football match going on. Oh, my country, my my team. Yeah, we think of things. We're conditioned. We want to recondition ourselves and understand our actual spiritual position. That I am a servant of Krishna. I meant to be engaged in the service of Krishna. Mm, when we go on the Rathi Atra, when we go out on Rathi Atra, we should have that consciousness that I am here because I am a servant of Krishna. This is my spiritual position. Mm, but our conditioning is to think, Oh, why am I out here? Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, it's going to rain. Maybe I'll get wet. <laughs> we forget about Krishna. We're thinking the body. We're thinking the mind, the senses. So we have to purify that consciousness by chanting and by engaging in the service of the Lord. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, I have a question, Maharaj. So, uh, if a person he transcends the bodily concept, he doesn't think about the body so much. But would he sometimes would he, would he sometimes push over his limit? Like even though his material body is exhausted and um, needs to be taken care of, but he's like pushing it too much, and then he broke it. Uh, you know, something inappropriate happened. Uh, the question is, if a person Yes, it's possible. It can happen. Something you can overdo it. You can become maybe you may say you become fanatical, and you overdo your what limit you're actually capable. We get sometimes, sometimes a devotee, some a new devotee, and they want to be very austere, very renounced. One time there was one devotee, he was in Mayapur, he was living there in Mayapur, but he would live among the, he would go and stay in the banana trees, among the banana trees. And he would only go and take prasadam after everyone else had all taken prasadam, and he would just go and eat whatever remnants were there. So how long you could do like that? And after a short time then of course he gave up everything and went back to material life. So we have to be careful. We have to know what is our limit, what we can do, what is what is uh, what we're capable of.
呃，所以我们要知道自己的局限，我们能做多少。So some people can be very renounced and very detached from everything. 有有的人可能非常的拒绝，他可以呃放弃一切。And other people, they can use everything in the service of Krishna without any attachment. And we were telling yesterday about Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati, how he was using opulence in the service of Krishna. We saw Srila Prabhupada. He went to Hong Kong, and when he came to Hong Kong, the devotees there had arranged to greet Prabhupada with a very big car, expensive Rolls Royce car, and they took him to stay in the in the very good hotel, and they had the penthouse suite there for Prabhupada. 嗯，在帕布帕去香港的时候，呃，他的奉献者门徒就安排了一辆劳斯莱斯来接他，然后把他安排到一个很好的酒店的套房里。So when the reporters came, they questioned Prabhupada about all of this. When Prabhupada said, "Well, if I was sitting under a tree, you would not come to see me." Prabhupada said, "If I was sitting under a tree, you would not come to see me." So I'm just using these opulences to attract you, so so that I can give you the message of Krishna. 嗯，所以这个牌面呢，只是用来吸吸引你们这些人，啊，把你们吸引到奎舒那之学来。And then just after that, Prabhupada left Hong Kong and he went to Bhubaneswar, where we have recently been given some land donated, and there was only some mud hut there, and Prabhupada was living in the mud hut. 嗯，在他离开香港之后，帕布帕来到印度的这个布隆内斯瓦，呃，这个地方我们是最近才拥有了一些土地。And so he was living in the mud hut, and he was taking bath and using the earth from the ground as soap. He didn't use ordinary soap; he just took the earth. He said that this earth is very good. You can purify your body just by rubbing it with the earth. 嗯，所以他们在沐浴的时候就在户外。呃，他也没有什么香皂，他是用这个土，呃，土壤泥土来净化自己的身体。And in this way, Prabhupada was showing all of us how he was completely detached from the material situation. So, Prabhupada showed us how he was completely detached from the material situation. Whether you live in opulence or you live in poverty, it doesn't make a big difference to a devotee. For a devotee, no matter if you live in poverty or poverty, it doesn't make a big difference to a devotee. Just simply accept whatever is arranged by the grace of Krishna. Uh, 仅仅是接受奎舒安排的一切。But sometimes people that they become fanatical, they want to go to extremes, and they try to do it prematurely. Uh, 但是有的时候一个人他可能很狂热，呃，他的做法不是很成熟。So you have to understand uh, what we're capable of. Just like in Prabhupada's time, sometimes young men would renounce the world and they would take sannyas. But then, after some time, they would become restless and they would give up their vows of renunciation. 嗯，但是过了一段时间，他们可能就会躁动不安，呃，没有办法持续这个誓言。Because it's it it's difficult for young a young person to maintain the vows throughout the life. 因为对于一个年轻人来说，保持这样的誓言，呃，一生保持是很难的。嗯。When you're twenty or twenty-five, you may think, "Oh, I want to be renounced." But when you get to thirty-five and forty, and like that, you may think, mm, uh, well, "I think I've had enough of this renunciation." So you have to be realistic. And understand what you can do. So we must be realistic and understand what we can do. Try not to be too fanatical. 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 Try not to be too
Transcendence is not shouldn't be premature. You must be you must be ready for it. Uh, in the place I live, some of the Buddhist, te Buddhist temple, they practice Tantra, uh, but these people eat meat. So in their next life, will they be able to get like a human body? Well, we cannot say just because they eat meat that they won't get a human body. You have to consider a lot of other things. Uh, Certainly, they're not going to go back to God. They're not ready for liberation. Of course, the Buddhists, they have their own philosophy. They say, I didn't kill anything, I'm only eating. But, of course, there's still sins involved. You'll get some reactions, will be there. It takes time to overcome uh, between husband and wife. The argument is always there, and uh, it, uh, because we are practicing, so we are slowly, slowly uh, from the lower modes to the higher modes. Um, uh, it took me and my wife more than twenty years to be able to be in the mood of coolness and no more fighting. Uh, so, we used, to, we used also, even devotee, we still shout among each other in front of the children, and the children don't like it, of course, but because we are not, we, we are not able to control ourselves. So, that's why you need, still need more chanting. Uh, chanting, devotional service, engaging, then you slowly, slowly pull aside your husband or your wife as a, as a main, main distraction. Uh, if you come to my platform that I discussed, I will give you more ideas how to go about it. Uh, because everyone is different. Everyone is different. Okay, how you want to Okay, for me, Chen Shen Shan. Yeah. Okay, Shima Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. Okay.